My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. I'm going to give you my favorite prize picks entry for UFC Vegas 81. If you don't know what prize picks is, it's daily fantasy. You come in here, you say more or less than the numbers you see on the screen. And if you're correct, you can 10 times your money. You can even get some wrong and still get paid with their flexible payout options. I'm going to break down fights, but this is for every single sport. You can see the wild amount of options scrolling across the top here. The best part about all this is they will give you free money to play. All you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash prizepicks. Use promo code WWP. They will instantly match your deposit. If you give them 50 bucks, they'll give you 50 bucks. You give them 100, they'll give you 100. You can use that money instantly to build an entry. If you want, you could only use that money. You don't have to use your real money. You can just use their deposit match money, build an entry, and then if you win, you have even more free money and you can withdraw all of it, we want picks.com slash prize picks, promo code WWP, get that very, very free money. Let's go ahead and build the entry. As I mentioned, I'm going to build this for UFC Vegas 81, but clearly across the top, every single sport you could ever imagine and every variation of every sport you could ever imagine, and you can mix and match your sports to build an entry. We're going to go ahead and take a look here. Significant strikes. I don't typically like doing significant strikes because it's a subjective number. And then you get some traps, right? Terrence McKinney, 18 and a half. It seems low. He doesn't get past that number nearly as often as you think he would because he's either going to come forward with a wrestle heavy game plan, land a couple of strikes, and then get a knockout or get knocked out. I mean, he does not get very busy before his fights end. So 18 and a half feels a little bit like a trap. I think more is probably the play there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. The one that I do like here is if we take a look at Michelle Pajeda, 58 and a half significant strikes, I'm going to go more. Anytime I do any of this stuff, I go digging into the data. How has this person performed in the past compared to this line? If we look at Michelle Pajeda, four of his last five fights, he has blown past this line. He is fighting a very, very tough Andre Petrovsky. Andre Petrovsky is not the type of guy you're just going to get out of there. So I think this is going to go to a decision. Michelle Pajeda hasn't finished anybody in a while. I think this will go to a decision. I think he's going to cruise past this 58 and a half significant strikes as he's done in four of his last five fights. And then the other one I like here is if we take a look at Edgar Chárez, 24 and a half significant strikes. We're going to go less. This is a rematch. They just fought a couple of weeks ago. And Edgar Chávez landed 12 strikes, 12, before the submission. Even if this is twice as busy, we still are good with this line. So I like the less here. We have not seen Daniel Lacerda capable of surviving for any meaningful amount of time. The only time that he survived more than a round was when he almost had his opponent out cold three or four times. And if that happens here, we're still going to be less than the 24 and a half significant strike. So I like the less here, even though that number does feel very low. I do think we will be good there. If we go to fantasy score, what I like to do here is find an underdog that I think wins uh, and then play the less because these are all the favorites. I didn't see anything that I loved here, right? Sadiq Youssef, 103 and a half. That should, if you think he loses, then less is great, but he still has five rounds to work with. Jennifer Maya, I think she wins. I think she dominates, but if you look how the fantasy scoring works, the reality is all she's going to get is a whole bunch of significant strikes and a decision win bonus. So 20 points and then 0. 0.6 for every significant strike. Her fantasy point line, scroll down, her fantasy point line is at 78 and a half. So she's going to need to land a good amount of significant strikes and get the win bonus. She probably does get past this for that reason. So if she's got 40 significant strikes, or sorry, 80 significant strikes, that's 40 points ish i did a half instead of 0.6 and then 10 for a bonus 50 i just didn't like it even though i do think she wins this fight not many takedowns i don't think she's going to get those six point takedowns and this fantasy doesn't do control time so none of that matters it's going to come down to significant strikes and i don't see that so we're going to leave fantasy score alone fight time minutes was another tricky one essentially you think tj brown goes to a decision well if no less if yes higher michelle Pajeda probably goes to a decision this is probably a decent hire but there's a lot of unknowns. Andre Petrovsky did step up on short notice. So we're going to go ahead and leave that alone. Jonathan Martinez, Adrian Yanez. Adrian Yanez was just knocked out cold. He has knocked plenty of people out cold. So we're going to leave these alone. Three and a half fight minutes for Terrence McKinney is such a funny line. Think about how low that is. Three and a half minutes. But again, he's fighting a regional bum on a two weeks notice. Or sorry, two days notice. So we're going to leave that alone. 
We are going to go to takedowns. My final entry here was Christian Rodriguez, half a takedown, and I played them more. That line no longer exists. It may come back up later, adjusted, but for now, they have taken that off the board entirely. If you were a premium member, you are a premium member, you saw the entry that I put up, and I'll show you that entry that had the Christian Rodriguez line in it. That is gone. So let's go ahead and give you a third leg here. I would like the Michelle Pajeda more than 12 and a half fight minutes, but you cannot have the same fighter twice. So we will leave that alone. The Terrence McKinney one is very, that's just such a low number. You want to jump on it, but that is a trap. Jonathan Martinez, 10 and a half. He's getting finishes. His opponent's getting finishes. His opponent's been finished. Too many unknowns there. I think TJ Brown to go to a decision is very, very solid. Darren Elkins is crazy tough. TJ Brown is crazy tough. But again, that's such a high number. We'll leave that alone. Let's go back to the fantasy score. The Jennifer Maya one, I did that math for you. I walked you through why that's kind of a problem, why it could be an issue. 121 for Terrence McKinney. Let's look at how the scoring works to see if that's worth it. 121. Well, a first round win is worth 100. So then he needs to get 21 points. If he gets a knockdown, that's 12. If he gets 10 significant strikes, I don't think he's going to get to 121. We're going to go ahead and play the less because, yeah, I do think he wins. I think he dominates. But if it's a quick drops him, puts him out, he's not going to get to that 121. He'll score really well. But 100 for the first round, if he gets to the second, now we're even farther away from that. So we'll go ahead. We'll shoot our shot on this. But again, let me show you what my original entry was. We are going to do the flex play option. The flex play option allows me to get that wrong. If that Terrence McKinney one is wrong, I'll still get paid at 2.2, or uh, sorry, 1.25%. If that hits, 2.25%. We'll go ahead and lock that in. And let me show you my entries. Here is that Christian Rodriguez line that no longer exists. Again, if you're a premium member, you saw this entry. If you liked it, you could have jumped on it. If you didn't like it, well, who cares either way? It's not available anymore anyway. But we have Michelle Pajeda, 58 and a half significant strikes. We did more than that. Originally, I had Christian Rodriguez, half a takedown. I did more. That is now gone. Edgar Chavez, fewer than 24 and a half significant strikes. And then now we just did Terrence McKinney, less than 121 and a half fantasy points. And the reason we did that is how the fantasy points are scored. Terrence McKinney might literally win too fast. And if that's the case, we're not going to score that many points. Guys, again, the most important part here is get your free money. We want picks dot com slash prize picks promo code wwp they will give you free money all you need to do is make deposit they will match it use that free money build your own entry we want picks.com slash prize picks promo code wwp